Plate Motion Engineering Internship. Day 1. Introducing the Engineering Internship. A reminder that you can access your digital resources in the lesson brief of every lesson. Even though activities are available in Amplify Lessons, you will be working in the Futura Workspace. You can find the Futura Workspace in your Amplify main menu. In this lesson, we obtain and evaluate information and define our engineering problem by reading in our dossier about tsunamis and the damage they can cause, cause and effect. Activity 1. Connecting to Futura Workspace. Starting today, you will be working as engineering interns for a company called Futura. You will start each day of your internship by reading a new message. You'll open Futura Workspace and select Plate Motion Engineering Internship. Then you'll open the day one message to read about your new internship. Open Futura Workspace and read about your new internship. Ensure you are clear on your tasks for the day. Making annotations for Chapter 2 in the dossier. After hours, making annotations for Chapter 1 in the dossier. Introducing Futura. Welcome, engineering interns. I will be your internship coordinator, and I'll guide you through this project with Hannah Wong, your project director. Where have you heard the word engineer before? What kind of work do engineers do? What about geohazards engineers? What do you think they do? You might respond, engineers often use math and science to create and design things like structures, machines, and everyday objects that help people. Geohazards engineers build things to help protect people from Earth's hazards. All engineers design solutions to problems. Geohazards engineers apply concepts from earth science and physics to help minimize the impact of natural disasters. You will be working as geohazards engineering interns at Futura. Let's talk about what you already know about natural hazards. What are some natural hazards and how do people prepare for them? Some natural disasters, such as tornadoes, floods, and hurricanes, can be forecasted so people can receive warnings about them which allows people to prepare. Other natural disasters, such as earthquakes, give little to no warning. Some examples of geohazards engineering projects include slope stabilization to prevent rock slides, earthquake retrofitting to prevent building damage during an earthquake, or warning systems, such as a tornado or tsunami warning system. Your project director is Hannah Wong. Hannah has sent a video message to explain more about Futura and the engineering project. Students, play part one of the video. Hannah wants you to design a tsunami warning system. What are some goals that might be important to make sure your warning system is successful? Let's watch the rest of Hannah's video message. Students, play part two of the video. Let's discuss what you learned in the video about your internship. What is the project you will be working on? Do you have any questions? You might respond, to help the World Ocean Administration design an improved tsunami warning system to warn the people of Sri Lanka of an approaching tsunami. Tsunami warning systems use different sensors all over to collect data, and then scientists can alert people who need to get someplace safe. Note that the internship is fictional. Futura Engineering and the employees you will meet are fictional, but that the work you do is very similar to that of real professional engineers. Professionals in training often participate in simulations such as this to practice the skills needed for the job before being given a real assignment. As geohazards engineering interns, you will use what you've learned about plate motion to solve a real and important problem. Remember, Hannah Wong will be the project director for this internship. She will send you messages, assign you tasks to do, and give you feedback on your work. You will follow her directions as you plan and test your designs and apply what you learn about plate motion and engineering practices. Hannah will also be in charge of determining whether your work is up to future engineering standards. As the internship coordinator, I will communicate with Hannah about your progress, answer your questions, and help guide you through the project. Your internship will have three phases, research, design, and proposal. I'll give you a quick overview of what will happen in each phase. During the research phase, you will look for information to understand the problem you are trying to solve. Understanding what a tsunami is and what types of sensors are used in warning systems in order to design a tsunami warning system for the World Ocean Administration 
to warn the people of Sri Lanka of an approaching tsunami. During the design phase, you will apply the research you did toward planning, building, testing, and analyzing your warning system designs. During the proposal phase, you will write a proposal describing evidence from the research and tests of how your warning system design addresses the project criteria. Criteria. Standards by which something may be judged. At Futura, we have many criteria for every product. Do you remember what the word criteria from the video? Remember that you just brainstormed some ideas about what would make a successful tsunami warning system. Know that the engineering problem you are about to start working on for Futura will need to meet certain criteria to ensure your designs are successful. Criteria are the things that you must consider or think about and test to evaluate whether your design or project is successful. Let's discuss the three criteria for your warning systems and why each one is important. One, maximize average warning time. Two, minimize false alarms. Three, keep costs low. Remember, you heard about the project criteria in the daily message and in the welcome video. After hours, you will also read the request for proposals and that reviews the criteria as well. False alarm, a warning that is generated for a specific area, even though no emergency or disaster occurs in that area. Throughout your internship, you'll be using Futura Workspace to get messages, record notes, and submit work. Let's see how it works. Students, play the video. Exploring Tsunami Alert. To test sensors for your warning systems, you'll use a digital model called Tsunami Alert. This model predicts the locations of earthquakes and tsunamis. A model is an object, diagram, or computer program that helps us understand something by making it simple or easier to see. For example, at Futura, you'll be using a computer simulation to test your designs. Engineers use models like Tsunami Alert to predict what will happen. They can change variables and see what outcomes happen as a result. Tsunami Alert is a scientific model. Scientists often make and use models like these to study things that they cannot measure directly. They can change variables and see what outcomes happen as a result. This lets them predict outcomes in the real world under similar conditions. Tsunami Alert is accurate in many ways. The map of the Indian Ocean and locations and magnitudes of earthquakes are based partly on historical data. But like any model, Tsunami Alert is simplified and inaccurate in some ways. Press the button in the top right corner of Futura Workspace to open Tsunami Alert. You have only a few minutes to explore Tsunami Alert right now, but you will be using it over the next several days as you continue your research and design during the design phase. Explore Tsunami Alert. As you explore, think about ways the model is accurate and ways it is simplified. Take three to four minutes to explore Tsunami Alert on your devices. What did you notice about Tsunami Alert? What did you find interesting? Note some of the following features if you didn't see them already. It is not necessary to know all these features now, since day four will include a full video demonstration of Tsunami Alert. The sensors can be dragged and dropped to any location on the map. A maximum of 10 sensors can be used. As you place sensors, the initial cost increases by the amount each sensor costs to install. Earthquake sensors can be installed on land or on the sea floor, but it costs more to install them on the sea floor. After selecting test, the design overview displays the design details, which sensors are used and where they are placed, and the test results. Test results relate to the project criteria. The map shows markers of all the earthquakes that could occur in a 50-year time span. Tapping a sensor on the map or in design details will reveal how well it performed over the 50-year span. Tapping an earthquake reveals flags that will appear over Sri Lanka and affected sensors, displaying the performance of those sensors during that specific event. If the earthquake causes a tsunami, a wave animation plays that shows the earthquake epicenter and the spreading of the tsunami wave throughout the ocean. When studying an earthquake, you can use the menus of the earthquake sorted by magnitude to show all or hide some earthquakes from the map. 
The landform slider allows you to reveal what geologic structures exist on the seafloor and the land masses. Let's summarize what we noticed about the Tsunami Alert digital model. What is accurate about the model? What seems simplified? You might respond, locations of land where earthquakes occur, magnitudes of earthquakes, location of earthquakes isn't always exactly the same. The ocean has many different depths of water, not just shallow and deep water. It doesn't show all islands. All tsunamis move across the ocean at the same speed. There might be other sensor types to use that aren't included. Activity 2. Reading about tsunamis. You will begin your research on tsunami warning systems by reading part of the Futura Geohazards Engineer dossier. Dossier is a term professionals sometimes use for a set of related documents, including all of their project details. It includes the background information and references you need to complete your internship. Students, open the dossier on your devices. You can access the dossier through the link in the Welcome to Futura message. You can also open the dossier directly in the Amplify library or in the lesson brief. It is essential to understand tsunamis for this project, so you'll read Chapter 2. You can use the Table of Contents to navigate between the chapters. Students, use the Table of Contents to navigate the chapters. You can access the Table of Contents by selecting the Table of Contents button from the bulleted list. Access the Glossary feature of the dossier, Chapter 7. Remember to look at the glossary if you need more support with engineering and project terms. Note the annotation features and the vocabulary reveal feature. Engineers read like scientists, reading multiple times, making connections to things they already know about, and asking critical questions. As engineering interns, you should practice these skills, just as you have been doing in science class using active reading. Active reading guidelines. Students, review the active reading guidelines as necessary during the lesson. 1. Think carefully about what you read. Pay attention to your own understanding. 2. As you read, annotate the text to make a record of your thinking. Highlight challenging words and add notes to record questions and make connections to your own experience. 3. Examine all visual representations carefully. Consider how they go together with the text. 4. After you read, Discuss what you have read with others to help you better understand the text. In addition to recording your own questions and connections as you read, you can make annotations to help you answer this focus question. What is a tsunami? You can open the dossier using the link in the welcome message. Read and annotate Chapter 2, Tsunamis Rare but Dangerous, in the dossier. Students, return to Futura Workspace. Open the dossier and use the table of contents to navigate to chapter 2. Take several minutes to actively read and annotate this section of the dossier. Discussing annotations. After reading, discuss the following questions with a partner. While you were reading, what connections did you make to what you already know? What questions do you have about tsunamis? What words are you unsure about? What information did you find to help you answer the focus question? Let's work together to summarize the key points of what you read in Chapter 2. Students, summarize the key points that include A tsunami is a large, destructive ocean wave caused by a sudden shift in the seafloor. Tsunamis are rare natural disasters that can result in great loss of life and property. Tsunamis, tsunamis don't happen often and are unpredictable. They give no warning. Tsunamis are most often caused by earthquakes under the water. Tsunamis differ from regular ocean waves in many ways. Remember, you can use the dossier for reference at any time. You should expect to read sections of it several times during your internship. Scientists and engineers read text multiple times for understanding. Reading about tsunamis. Students, if you choose, you can return to Amplify Science and select the Reading About Tsunamis activity. Be sure you answer the self-assessment question in the activity and select Hand In. This step is optional. Activity 3. After Hours Work For this task, you'll read and annotate Chapter 1, Request for Proposals, RFP, in the dossier. Then you'll submit your annotations and respond to some questions. Students, complete the After Hours Work. End of Day 1.